What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and welcome back to another Mario 64 100% guide video. In today's video, we're going to be tackling the second level, which is Womp's Fortress. If you don't know how to get to Womp's Fortress from the main lobby of the castle, you want to head over to the right to the door with one star, and you walk right in, you pay the one star. Well, not really pay the one star. All you need is one star to access this room. And then you get access to the second official level inside of Mario 64. Of course, Mario 64 is open where you can skip this level. You could go to other levels. As long as you have enough stars to pay for the door to of entry, you can go into the other levels. But we're going to do this in order and do Womp's Fortress. Now, the first one is Chip Off Womp's Block. Let's go. Now, this one is very easy, very straightforward. All you have to do is climb to the top of this level and then face uh, the boss of this level, which is um, the Womp. Iconic bad guy from all the Mario games. Now, you can easily go around here, and I'm probably going to show that way as well, but I always go this way because it's easier. But if you can't make that long jump, I'm going to just go around to show you guys. And you're gonna see that sleeping, um, uh, what is those things called? The sleeping piranha plant. You just cross these two bridges here, and you can make your way over on this side. And you can watch out for these guys. They're not really too much to worry about. As long as you don't get directly in their face, they won't attack you. And then you got the king wop. The big daddy one over here. And all you need to do is let him, um, like, jump and attack you. And then jump on his back. And then ground pound him. You don't have to ground pound him on the band-aids or, like, the crack pot. But I always got enough height to just land there. Oh. So he does take away three pieces of health if he lands on you. I was trying to be slick. I always let him try to jump over me, and then I basically flip and attack him. So you hit him three times, and as you can see, the star is ours. As long as I can grab it. There we go. And that is how you get chip off the wands block, the first star inside of this level. Jumping back in to get to the top of the fortress the second star in this level another one very easy and self-explanatory all you got to do is go to the top of the fortress where the boss fight just happened so instead of the boss being up there now there's going to be an extra platforming section that you have to get up to go up there and to blow your mind a little bit if you don't know if you punch which wall is it it's one of these walls if you punch it there we go. It gives you a, a free man. It's right here. The wall by the steps. And you got to watch out because these floors, some of them actually go inside and move in. And then the last one is an elevator. And it'll bring you up to where the star is. And that's it. That's how you get on the top of the fortress. Shoot into the wild blue. Now, this one is very interesting because this one, what the game wants you to do is talk to the pink bomb, right? Where you can open up this cannon right here. Look, he's right here waiting for us right by the cannon, right? So I'm going to show you exactly what the game wants you to do. The game wants you to drop into this cannon and then shoot yourself and potentially fall off the stage to get that star right there. You see it? That's why they call it shoot into the wild blue because most of the time, if you're not skilled enough, you are going to just drop yourself down in there. What I like to do is just jump off this wall right here. Boom, boom, and you're up here on top of the shoot into the wild blue star. Now, again, this is how I get it. Now, you can go in the cannon and just shoot yourself at the star. 
I'm actually gonna do that as well. The best thing is probably to shoot yourself. So what you wanna do is align this so you can hit your head on this pillar right here to kind of stop your momentum. But you wanna bring it all a little bit up. I like to bring it like right here where this great part is like still on the brakes, like right there. So you can bang your head on that and then you can come down here, get these coins and slide yourself on down to collect the star and that's how you get shooting into the wild blue red coins on the floating isle now to get the red coins on the floating island is literally getting all the red coins in the stage not just the ones in the air on the floating island get a closer look let's get through here Now we know where Fall Guys got their, their obstacle course from. Right. Come here. I like to come this way and go all the way around because there is one up here on the stairs. Right here. On top of the Womp's head. I'm trying to, oh my god, I keep forgetting that the camera on this game is atrocious. So you want to just come up here, ride his little head, and then come up. Okay. Now the next one we want to get is, uh, let's get this one. Literally behind the piranha plant is one. And then we get another one here. That's four. And as you can see, we get one here. Boom, 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 boom. And as you can see, there's also one on the bottom. Now, to get this one, all you gotta do is literally just drop down, grab it, um, and then the rest are in the sky. Seven and eight, I believe, are up there in the sky. So let's make our way up on top. Of course, my little sneaky shortcut is this. So you could come here, and then you're gonna see this big bridge that you gotta knock down in order to get it down. So you gotta jump kick it. Oh, I just fell. So you gotta jump kick it. Jump kick this bridge. Oh, this wood to so make it a bridge. And then climb across. Get seven and then eight. Then the star is down there. We could just jump down and grab it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't kill yourself. Here we go. And that's how you collect the eight red coins inside of Womp's Fortress. Now, the next one, fall into the caged island. Now, this one has a ton of methods to actually get. The canon way of how to actually come in here is to use this owl. Now, the problem about this owl is that you don't get super direct control of the owl. You have to just jump, hold on by holding B, and then go to where the cage is at, and then like free fall drop in because the owl is kind of like not a hundred percent super accurate there's a whole bunch of methods about people getting in by diving with the cannon there's other methods of people using the boss of this level and using his back as a bridge to, to jump in and another issue about this right here is that waiting for the owl to come back some sometimes sucks and can be time consuming I'm gonna see if I can land it though, so you can kind of get an idea to do it the cannon way. You do see a sh oh no god, I was gonna say you do see a shadow when you are a little bit closer to the island. I want to say, see, I can't even. The owl is not even here, so it's like. There we go. Okay, I'll drop me in. 
Oh my god, I hit the gate. Okay, so what I like to do to make sure that I got a lot of accuracy with my drop is to jump, but then go all the way around, turn the camera a little bit. Oh my god, the camera's not turning. There we go. Turn the camera a little bit so you can actually see your shadow and then drop directly in when you're super close. Again, taking a lap around the, the like castle thing actually helps. The castle pillar in the center where the boss was actually helps because it, it gives the owl time to descend just a little bit so you can still jump inside the cage but have a ton of accuracy and have small amount of actual fall time so you won't bounce off the walls or anything on the side of the cage and stuff like that. So again, those are my tips on how to fall inside of the cage island. I'm going to show other ways in this video as well as me getting it from using the back of the Twomp King on top of the island as well as a couple of people I wasn't able to pull this off I tried but I wasn't able to pull it off myself of people shooting from the cannon into that cage in the sky so it's tons of ways to actually do it and pull it off just do what's easiest for you blast away the wall now this one is very easy very simple if you know exactly what you got to do and what you got to look for it says blast away the wall and it's literally over here, there's these two walls right next to this cannon. And I believe it's the first one. You just got to shoot yourself out of the cannon into the wall and hit it. As you can see, look, from here, you can see the crease on the wall. And in between this one, can you see the star? No, you can't really see the stars. But you just want to just shoot yourself. Oh, I missed. Let's try that again. But all you gotta do is shoot yourself to that wall and hit the corner and you're good. And it's, I think it's like right here. Boom, there you go. Now it does take a little bit of damage and I think that was because of the angle I actually hit it. Now there are people, speed runners out there that know how to glitch through the little corner. And just like drop on it in a certain way and able to just get the star like that. However, I tried all my life. I've seen videos of people doing it online. I tried all my life and wasn't able to actually do it. They just use, because of the star is turning, I think. And I think they use the hitbox of when it's actually reachable from the outside. And then touch the wall and hit it. Again, I haven't been able to do that my whole entire life of playing this game. So, this is the official way of how to blast away the wall and you, know, you have to literally blast away the wall yeah. now we're gonna go for the coin star now this one again very easy because there are a lot of enemies and there are the blue coins and there's a ton of coins just laying about in this level what i would do is actually go to the red coin level on the floating for the floating island because it does have that arrow on top with the tons of coins um uh, these guys do drop coins as well so as you can see there are tons of ways to actually get this star and we should be good after this guy right here boom very quick very simple there's a ton more coins in this level so there are a ton to grab so there's there's no real method no science way to actually be correct just enjoy the level and collect as many coins as possible now that's going to be it for womps fortress let me know in the comment section below if you're having any more problems or questions thoughts concerns about any other stars here in Womp's Fortress, or if you have any other strategies to get any other stars that I might have missed or might have not talked about in this video. Let's have that conversation in the comment section below. If you don't know, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, I do videos like this all the time doing, oh, Mario scared me for a second doing guides for Mario, Pokemon, and pretty much any other game I'm playing. 
I like to do guides here on the channel. So if you're interested in that type of content and you're interested in the vibe and the discussion, hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it so other people can check out the channel. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it can be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.